This is the four silver kittens that are from Permafrost. Um, all of them silver, two boys and two girls. We decided to go with the theme of ice cream since mom is permafrost. So I thought, okay, let's do a frosty theme. So ice cream, we got different ice creams from around the world. Moki's actually an ice cream from Japan. Gelato's from Italy. Sorbet, I believe is from France. And then there's also sherbet, which I think might be even Middle Eastern. All these guys are silvers. So that was a fun letter. I enjoyed that. All right, let's go over the two. They're all sleepy. They're so sleepy. I bet you I can wake them up real soon. The two girls are easy to know because they're the S names, which typically lends itself to a girl's name. So here's Sorbet right here. There is a T at the end, but you actually don't pronounce C-H the T. So you can see that all these guys have what's in common is really, really, really large rosettes. Um, and a lot of them do have linear striping down the back. So like here's the rosette that's broken up, but here's linear striping, here's linear striping. Um, another common feature of these guys is that they have the really tiny blunted ears. It was extremely noticeable when they were kittens. And it's even more noticeable right now because all the other kittens at this age definitely have bigger ears for sure. Um, but the tips are very blunted, round, not sharp, which is a feature that you see with the Asian leopard cat. So it's a, it's a feature in the wild, not something you see in the domestic cats. So it's considered to be very desirable in the Bengals. Um, the fact that all four of these guys have that trait, along with the very large rosettes and everything, seems like the genes really do steam, seem to stick that way. So that was one of the other girls. And then the other girl, sure, <laughs> sure, but here we go. So same idea, really large rosette right there really well spaced, long linear rosettes down the back. Now, a lot of spacing also helps the rosettes to be very noticeable too. But out of all the kittens, I would say that she's got the tiniest ears, like practically not even there. She's got the tiniest of all the ears of this whole entire group. Sure bet. I'm gonna play with them in just a moment and get them active. All riled up. Here's Gelato. Gelato's right here. He's the other boy. Where's your ball? Give me the bellies. Give me the bellies. Gelato, same idea. Really large rosettes, really big space. I have to say Gelato's the biggest boy in this whole group. Biggest kitten, I should say, actually in this whole group. He's kind of, he's a little hefty. The girls are a little dainty. You are so tired and yet you're like, I will attack you in slow-mo. <laughs> See, this poor guy. He's so tired, you're so sleepy. It's middle of the day. They tend to sleep the most in the middle of the day, so. All right. Can I show your pattern? Can I show it? Yep, just lay in my arms. Sleep right in my arms. <laughs> You're like, is he alive? <laughs> yes, he's alive. <laughs> you can see the other side. Oh, my pictures. He's got his claw stuck in that. Not that, that one right there. It's stuck. It's stuck. He's just chilling. Oh, 
I think Moki is the only one I didn't really show a pattern of. That's Moki mm -hmm. right there. All right, let's see if I can wake these guys up with some mousy mouse fun. What? What? Yeah, your claw's still stuck. John, you want to unhook the claw? The claw! There you go. Wake up. Time to wake up, guys. It's your photo shoot. And remember to look at the camera with your little kitty eyes and be like, I'm the one you want. Hmm. <laughs> and Gelato is finally starting to think about getting up. Maybe it's like a half-hearted attempt. I will raise the front part of my chest. <laughs> It's funny when people ask me, well, I heard bangles are really hyper and energetic. And, and because of that, they're very destructive, you know, more so than any other normal cat. And I have to laugh. I'm like, do you guys know how much these guys sleep? They sleep a lot, just as much as any other cat. The biggest difference between a bangle and a regular cat is they retain that kitten-like playful attitude forever. You get all the fun, cute parts of a kitten playing throughout the entire lifetime, which is pretty cool. So when they're awake, they're very intelligent and they're very active and they like to be involved in whatever's going on. Wherever you are, that's where they want to be. Whatever you're doing, that's what they're curious about. And they're known mimickers. They will watch what you do and copy you which can actually lead to some pretty hilarious situations. But I mean, they are not any more active, I would say, than a playful kitten. Oh, oh, that one got it. It's mine. It's mine. Hmm. Let it go. So, just to give you an idea, it's Moki, that's the one that's this one right here. That's Moki. This one's Sherbet. And Gelato's right there. Uh. Ooh, this thing's falling. Here we go. Trying to put a blanket. Oops. Busy. You, oh, what was that? What was that? It came through the door, huh? Hmm. Sorbet is just happy to chill out on the edge of the couch. I'm just going to sit here and look pretty because that's, that's what you want me for, right? Sit here, look pretty. Now these guys are still all in the fuzzy stages, which means that their markings are still very blurry. 
their pelt is not the adult slick smooth distinctive pelt that it will be later furthermore the rosettes are still not opening yet which they will open in the centers and become lighter creating that two-tone color that's still ahead some kittens develop their rosettes early and some develop them later sometimes genetic genetics have a play in it some moms like Olivia for example and Olivia's daughter Ambrosia they'll have kittens that typically develop those open beautiful rosettes really early on whereas some are known to develop them a lot later but develop them they always do the only time that I see where the rosettes stay pretty closed is when you're talking about charcoals the charcoal genetics create a situation in which the rosettes don't really show so much as they're more closed. Also, the rosettes that we know now that these days with bangles have been selectively bred into them over 20, 30 years or so at this point. The early generation bangles don't actually have them. Little fun fact for you. Furthermore, the, Asia, the uh, Asian leopard cat doesn't have donut rosettes. Matter of fact, you're not gonna find donut rosettes in the wild. It is a man-made creation. We selectively bred for that. So when I tend to see rosettes that are not donut, but they're paw print and arrowhead and, you know, the type that you do actually see in nature, I tend to see that more as the wild type pattern. I mean, if you buy any apparel, shoes, sweater, whatever, that has the leopard print, the leopard print is always the paw print design. It's never the donut. That's un how unnatural it actually is. <laughs> so one of the things you're going to notice is that kittens actually have a hard time keeping their claws in. It's a, it's a feature that they learn to do with age and maturity is to keep their nails in. They, they tend to keep their nails out more often as a reflux. In reality, it's a survival trait. They have to protect themselves. A claw is going to be there more often than not. Which is why we like to trim them. <laughs> All right. And that is permafrost's litter.